Hello everybody, I will present you WebDIM Pro Chips. These uh, WebDIM Pro Chips are created uh, here in a browser. You just need to to type this parameter and then you will have open uh, a mode where you can go to add your chip for this you just need to make a component and also this web impro chip component let's see how it looks like this is the side panel and the web pro chip component has these fields okay it has an action when it this button is pressed let's see the action the action it is that it opens an URL as an external window create external window okay the data to this view are binded to this controller value okay and this value it set it maybe in this set data method okay we just take the node the element we make a single select and then we set the static attribute to the view yeah and also we see that we have here a web pro chip this is creating by pressing this button and let's see how it looks like okay we can see that we can specify the component the view also an icon uh -huh. let's see what are the imports and output okay in the imports we have we see that we have our component controller method of declared as an import because maybe we take here some data and also the parameter ports it's for, from this type okay it's simple how you can create an import port you just create on this icon okay you specify the method and also then you need to specify the parameter for this method with the outports we don't have nothing to do so this is our uh, webdin pro chip component and also because when we press this line let's press something that it will change For example, when we click now on this line, we can see that our data, are, our data are changed because also in this functional part we can see that uh, let's go to the component just a second. To add the web in pro chip, we need to run the application and. Uh, on the back of the application we just need to specify this thing if we specify this parameter ok we will open the application in customizing mode then in customizing mode we can specify a side panel and then we can create edit and from there we can add the webdim pro chip our webdim pro chip and also the binding between a WebDIM Pro component and a WebDIM Pro chip in our case it's done by tags because we have created a tag and uh, this tag it's called car ID and because of this when we press something here then automatically this airline it's transmitted to our WebDIM Pro chip let's also click on create edit side panel ok and our web pro component is opened here because we have created previous also from the chip catalog 
I have opened the chip catalog and I have searched my web team pro chip and then I could enter it here. Okay, let's present the application in which is embedded the web team pro component. This is the application in which it's embedded the web team pro component in sub configuration mode equal x. We just need to have a page header and this page header needs to embed a transparent container. Okay. And this is all in big slides. I don't have nothing special here to show you. When we open for from here the side panel settings we are here and uh, from here we can search for our web dim pro chips also web dim pro have some uh, predefined chips and you can also use them for example you can use a uh, iframe and this and in this iframe we can introduce a google search and you can pass a parameter to this iframe yeah, in big lines, this was the story with uh, WebDim Pro chip and how you can use it. You create the WebDim Pro chip, you create the import output text, you then here make a, you manage the tag and you create the side panel setting and you specify the WebDim Pro chip name. Okay, thank you very much and we will see us in the next tutorial.